I have an account, it's mike at gmail.com and password is mike mike right so this account works it's in the database so let's say i forgot the password right i want to to, to but i don't have access to the email right so let's say forgot password then it's mike at gmail.com then reset password so yeah now uh they've sent us an otp but we don't know what the otp is right so uh then we don't know uh, what the, 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 the endpoint for validation is right so we would want to first know what happens when we click verify so we just entered the random OTP then let's verify it then we see that there's an endpoint for verification OTP verification called uh, verify so uh, let's see the payload it's just the user the, 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 the email and the OTP right so yeah, there's a lot that's happening in the background, uh, but for now, let's just work on this one. So, okay, let's try again, right? So now we have to bypass this uh, verification uh, process. So we have created the script here. Uh, it's just uh, a brute force. Uh, it's just a simple script that runs numbers from uh, 1,000 to 10,000. So we know that there might be OTP that start with 0001. So we can do something to, to accommodate this kind of this kind of OTPs. But for now, let's just focus on 1,000 to 10,000 because most of the OTPs are in that space, right, or in that range. So yeah, so let's run the this script and try getting the OTP. So uh, since like we don't use any email stuff, uh, but I, we have a way to get the OTP. So this, let's say it has been sent to your, to your, to your, to your email, this is the OTP, but you don't know the OTP as yet because you don't have access to this. So yeah, this script is running from 1000 to 10,000. Let's just keep the, the range smaller. Uh, let's just give it uh, 8500 uh, to nine uh, nine thousand yeah uh, just to save time now nah, nah, let's give it a t uh, seven okay so let's run the script right it's a python script then python 3 otp script uh the pi okay let's just doing some so token found it's this one so we know this by the status code so when it's a wrong OTP uh, it gives us a status code of uh, 404 then the correct one would give us a status code of 200 right so we take this OTP let's see uh, 8584 right 8584 verify while well, it worked, we can now set the new password. Let's give it Mike Jojo, right? Reset password. Okay, let's see. Mike at gmail.com. Mike Jojo. Logged in successfully. So this is just it. Uh, I think I'll just leave the link to the GitHub repo for you guys to clone if you're interested in this kind of testing. Uh, then, yeah, I'll be dropping another video soon uh, with more advanced stuff. So these are just the basic stuff. Yeah, okay. So let's just go through the, the authentication, uh, the verification method. So it's just taking, okay. So when you reset, you, you, you reset the button, like you, you, you request uh, an OTP. Uh, a reset token will be generated, right? With your email. So this is the reset token. Uh, it will be in this form. Oh, okay, it's been deleted uh, since we have used it. Uh, but uh, the model, 
So I reset token has the email uh, token and OTP. So we can still add something like expiry time or has been 